ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 6th of May. A little summer feel to the air today, and tomorrow should be even warmer. Summer just around the corner. Let's go to some Skycam shots, and hey, why not a summertime picture? The Gulf of Mexico, the sugar white sand of the Alabama Gulf Coast is seen from the Phoenix All Suites. Wouldn't it be nice to be out there today? Those water temperatures are up in the mid-70s now. They should be around 80 by the time June gets here. Up in the Tennessee Valley, a look at traffic along Memorial Parkway in Huntsville. And from Tuscaloosa, we're looking north from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse on a brilliantly sunny spring day. Got a big upper level low near Phoenix, producing inclement weather out ahead of that. Temperatures around the nation pretty pleasant. Everybody looking good. We've got 80s over South Alabama. And everybody will be in the 80s before the day is over. Those are our 1 o'clock observations. We'll stay warm tomorrow. Uh, convective outlook, a moderate risk of severe weather today. A pretty good chunk of Nebraska, parts of Kansas, and surrounding that, a slight risk all the way from the Rio Grande up to Minneapolis-St. Paul. Here's a look at our first uh, watch of the day. That's a, a severe thunderstorm watch until uh, 7 o'clock tonight for parts of uh, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, and southwest Minnesota. Tomorrow, a slight risk, places like Dallas-Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Little Rock, and Shreveport. And then on day three, which is Thursday, a slight risk for all of North Alabama, North Georgia, into parts of South Carolina. And we'll address that as we go. QPF map uh, suggesting heaviest rain over Missouri again, almost six inches there uh, near Springfield. And uh, around here, this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one-half to one inch, and that would be in what falls mainly Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. Here's the modeling. This is the 12Z GFS valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Wednesday. Negative tilt shortwave digging down into Texas at the surface. will be in, I say, sir, I don't have a surface chart for tomorrow because the weather's going to be beautiful Thursday. Uh, that trough moves over to the Tennessee Valley and down into Alabama, and that should be our active weather day. Surface low at 1 o'clock, according to the GFS, between Little Rock and Memphis, with uh, thunderstorms cranking up. All of the uh, typical parameters are in place for severe weather. There's a look at the instability values. This is suggesting surface-based Cape values Thursday evening of over 1,000 joules from Birmingham south. And the uh, helicity values are pretty good there. Uh, this is Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, and at that point, the better helicity is over northeast Alabama, but that will be uh, over the entire northern half of the state during the afternoon. So uh, we'll have to watch for strong to severe storms Thursday. We're expecting rainfall of one-half to one inch Friday. System out of here. We should be in good shape. Should be a dry and warm day. We're talking maybe upper 80s in here. Saturday starting off the weekend, a new surface low develops uh, on the – Arkansas-Oklahoma border with a warm front extending northward, and that's suggesting almost all of the showers at midday Saturday will be north of here over Tennessee and uh, eastern Georgia and South Carolina. So I still think much of the day Saturday will be dry. And then Sunday, here comes a, a short wave. Now, this run not as robust with the short wave. It's got a surface low uh, near Washington, D.C. with a trailing front. Uh, so this does not look as potent for severe weather but you know what I'm about to say let's get Thursday system out of here then we can focus on Sunday but certainly it looks like we'll need to mention a pretty good chance of showers and storms and then Monday the front moves way down into deep south Alabama we should be in dry air a couple of days later middle of next week on the 14th boy look at that trough digging down through here that looks wet and stormy if that's right we go out three more days to the 17th and whoa look at that uh Big old vortex eating up the eastern two-thirds of the United States. And if that's right, that looks wet, unsettled. Temperatures may be a bit below normal, especially up around the Great Lakes where they could see some snow underneath that thing. And then at the end of the cycle on May 22nd, again, a trough over the east. And that looks wet with some cooler air. So I really think, based on looking at runs for the last couple of days, for the next uh, maybe 16 days, we can talk temperatures averaging below normal, rainfall averaging 
above normal. And for most people, I think that will work. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.